Hi there, my name is Vince, I'm a composer, and in this video I thought I'd try something a little bit different. Um, I thought I'd try a speed writing exercise, and as you might be able to tell, I'm just recording this straight into OBS um, using screen capture software, and so the whole thing is just going to be completely unedited, and um, yeah, I hope it's enjoyable to watch, you might pick up some tricks, etc. I thought it'd just be a good kind of mental exercise. So what I've got is a load of random song ideas in this Lucky Draw app, and I'm just going to pick one. And I don't know, in terms of the style, I've got a template set up um, with quite a wide variety of sounds, but I thought I'd go for something generally quite organic, kind of acoustic instruments, maybe a bit underscorey, sort of soundtracky vibes, but uh, trying to keep it quite open. Don't want to necessarily decide on a strict musical genre going into it, so let's go. Okay, so Rebel Muzak hints at a musical genre in there, but also it could be something where we subvert the expectations. Uh, Rebel Muzak. Okay, so I'm going to try and limit this to something like 15 minutes. So I guess I'll try and be done by 5 past 11, something like that. Um, let's see what we can come up with in that time. Uh, Rebel Muzak. So immediately the thing that comes to mind is like lo-fi. Um, because it's kind of like music, isn't it? I mean, no offense to any chill hop producers watching this video. I mean, I'm a big fan of lo-fi. That's why I got this lo-fi um thing set up in my template. I love it. But I don't want to just do a straight up lo-fi track. Um. Still, let's put in that lo-fi beat and just see where it takes us. So I'll set a tap tempo. One, two, three, kind of there. Ooh, it's decided to load a honky-tonk piano. I wonder why that is. Okay, so 76.4 BPM. Perfect. Loop that a few times. Let's get a little live percussion element in there. I'm just going to sit down to do this. Something like that. Okay. Stand up again now so you can see me. The thing about these lo fi beats is they always want to be kind of in time, I think, at a macro level, but then a bit off at the micro level, if you know what I mean. It's kind of part of what makes them beautiful. clicky lay in there. Might just turn down the reverb sort of uh, room sound a little bit. Overheads give it a slightly tighter sound, you know. Alright, that'll have to do because we're short on time. Uh, 
That's fine. Maybe we'll try pitching that down. Oh. That's uh, introduces some latency there, but I kind of like it. I'm going to shift it back, but not too much. So we kind of preserve some of that. Oops, what have I done? Let's just shift it a little bit. Yeah. Make sure that's actually looping on the bar. Oh no, actually that would be fine. Yeah, just loop it like that. Okay. I mean, I guess my connection here is that lo-fi is sort of millennial music. I mean, that's a little cruel. I'm a millennial, so maybe I'm allowed to say that. But, uh, you know, there's something about that almost like this kind of smoothness of the jazzy. I have to figure out a way to make this more rebellious soon. Whoa, okay, so already like five minutes in. Need some bass. Am I just gonna make a lo-fi track? Is that what is that what's gonna happen? <laughs> it wouldn't be such a bad thing if I just made a chill hop track. intentional aftertouch there which is why it suddenly opened up a filter Rebel Muzak, Rebel Muzak. Uh, okay. I don't know. I mean, I immediately sort of just think of like industrial kind of music, um, you know, like some sort of nine inch nailsy. Slightly obnoxious, maybe, uh, like lead line or something that kind of slightly throws your expectations for a loop. Having a hard time selecting that for some reason. Oh, maybe it's because I'm. Oh, that must be a bug. Um, let's just try and get the loop thing to appear. Never mind. Um, so, I don't know. Let's. Uh... <laughs> It's a bit too squeaky clean, that. Um, let's go into Analog Lab and browse around uh, Industrial. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, that's probably close enough. Bit of distortion on there, maybe. Can we lose that delay? Is that possible? Sometimes the delays are kind of baked into these uh, these sorts of patches because they want you to buy the full version. That's fine, let's leave the delay. We don't mind the delay. Certainly obnoxious. <laughs> There we go. Momentarily lost my controller keyboard control, but there we go, that's fine. Oh. sound uh, so I'm gonna try to It's the first time I've used this uh, analog lab thing on a project. I've just uh, realized it came free with my MIDI controller keyboard. So it also happens to map quite nicely to the, the knobs and faders on the keyboard that I got down here. I don't know if you can see that. So um, let's just check that I'm still in frame. Yep. So uh, kind of makes a big difference having the physical controllers there, which allows you to. Um, actually play with the sound and kind of make it your own and perform it a little bit kind of straight out the box. I mean, I don't know where this is going, but I've definitely got the two elements. It's now just seeing if we can make them make sense. I mean, let's start with a little bit of uh, side chain compression, maybe. So, oh yeah, we can just click here, is it? Um, yeah, what channel are the drums going through? They're like bus eight.
thinking that that phrase kind of makes sense to me. I'm not sure about the earlier part. establish the kind of Muzak vibe first, then we bring in the industrial thing. wanted some thing, some sort of immediate ear candy thing there to help with the transition. It's not quite bright enough though, maybe a different patch. Um, that kind of vibe. Yeah, something like that. some like heavier drums you know um I'm running out of time now so I have to decide whether to keep feeling that and then da -da 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 -da. <laughs> we'll just do one of those shall we da -da 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 -da. Uh, perfect yeah <laughs> now the other idea that I had as I was listening to that was um Maybe we can do something like play with the the fidelity in the beginning. Uh, 
Actually, let's create a track. There we go. Classic lo-fi trick there. The bass needs to be way more aggressive at this point. Um, it needs to be like one of my like a sub fatty kind of sound. Mm, doesn't where's the low end? Oh, because I've uh, it's filtered off, is it? Okay, I have this fancy shortcut that helps me load plugins, but it, in that instance it didn't work for some reason. Uh, that's why I was hovering like an idiot over that empty slot, expecting it to load a plugin magically. What's up? <laughs> All right, cool. Little mini composing thing there for you. Rebel Muzak. Let's have a listen all the way through. That's it. Thanks very much for watching. That turned out in a different way that I wasn't expecting. I thought I'd be doing more soundtracky kind of instrumental vibes, and I ended up ended up doing the complete opposite. But sometimes that's how it is. Um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. See you on the next video.